I discovered a new way to make money with WordPress and generate a new income stream with it. Today, you will learn how to create custom API keys inside WordPress, how to integrate these keys with a credit system inside WordPress, how to create custom API endpoints, and how to connect your website with an external application like Streamlit apps so you can sell these apps with the credit system people will buy points and credits on wordpress and you will sell these in an external application before you watch this video i want to warn you this mini course has a lot of value and full of new ideas and techniques and has no ads so prepare your brain for a massive amount of value ready let's get started this video is sponsored by Skillshare. So in 30 seconds, let's start with the concept, the big picture, what we are going to do in this course. Simply, we are going to use WordPress as our back-end system, the credit system that will be connected to an external application like Streamlit app, which is super easy to develop and build. And then users will need to buy credits on WordPress to use your external applications. Don't worry if some terms are not clear. I'll explain everything step by step, practically and in detail, and starting right now. So here I have a new brand clean WordPress installation. Step one, I will create a unique API key for each user. So any user who signs up to my website will get a unique API key. How to do that? Let's see. Go to plugins and click on add a new plugin. And simply go here to, and search for ACF or advanced custom fields plugin. You will see this one here, install it. And by the way, everything I will show you is totally free. No paid plugins, everything will be free. And then go to ACF here and click on field groups. We will add a custom field to each user. It's called API key. Click on add a new and let's call it user data, for example. And I will call this API key and it will be auto generated here. This is the field name, close field, and then go to rules here and select user form is equal to all and click on save changes. Now every single user on your website will get a field where we can insert inside it a custom unique API key that the users can use to authenticate and use the system and use the tools. It's like any API or any service out there where you get an API key to access their systems. We are implementing the same technique within WordPress. The second step is we want to add some functionalities inside our website so we can generate the API key on registration. We want to allow the user to generate an API key if, if he wants to change it. So again, go to plugins here, click on add a new plugin and now search for WP code snippets. Select this one here, install. Again, activate the plugin. Go here to code snippets and add a new snippet. Let's create a custom snippet here and let's name it API key management for example anything and select PHP and simply I will paste these functions don't worry I will give you all the codes details steps but please for now just follow up understand the concept so here we have some functions to generate the unique API key and to display on the website's pages I will show you this right now. I will activate, save snippet. So now let's go and create a new page, test this, add a new page. I will call it, for example, API access, and simply I will paste this short code. You see this short code here? I just copied it from here, this one, and added square brackets, and that's it. Let's publish this page, publish, click on view, and you can see now we have the user ID and the API key. And the user will have a button to generate the key. Let's click on this button. The page will refresh. And now we will have a new API key. So each user now can generate his own API key. Let me show you this on my website. If you click on the account page, 
to show you how I implemented this technique you will see in the accounts page I have the API section and the same concept is here we have the API key and the user ID and the users can click on this button to generate a new key the same idea now we want to move to the credit system you see here we have points or credits for each user so on the website each user will have an API key and will have a balance a number of credits that, that they can consume and use to access your tools so to do this again back to our back end I will go again to plugins and add a new plugin it's the last one so go here and search for my crid we will have this one my crid to add a points and reward system to your WordPress website it's an awesome plugin by the way install it okay activate now we have the point system installed inside WordPress. If you go now to users, you will see now beside each user, we will have the points. You can adjust this, add points, subtract points, and so on. And if you click on edit on the user, again, you will see the points balance here. And if you go down, you will find the API key. So now each user has a balance, it has an API key. Key. let me show you this on my website in the account page we have the user balance and we have the API key please focus on this to show you in practice how this helps so I will go to my tools section here let's open any tool now just for the demo keyword research and please concentrate on the points balance my balance here okay I will search for anything for example AI click on generate look at the balance we subtracted around 20 points so when users use my tools on wordpress they are consuming credits or points so you need so they need to buy more points to use the tools and by the way if you want to learn how i build these tools on wordpress with the credit system and how i monetize this you can check my full course on skillshare on building an online tool on wordpress step by step i showed all the codes project files everything so you can build the same in less than one hour not only that on skillshare you'll find also my other course on building ai agents from scratch so you can understand how ai agents work and build one totally from scratch skillshare is one of the largest online learning communities out there with thousands of classes covering almost everything from design illustration to marketing business freelancing and even programming and development there's something for everyone and to help you more i have partnered with skillshare so the first 500 people to join skillshare using the link in the description below will get totally free access to all classes on skillshare for 30 days what are you waiting for go now Join Skillshare, learn new skills, and shape your future. Thank you, Skillshare, for supporting my audience and supporting my ad free videos and supporting my channel. Okay, now it's time to move on and see how we can create custom API endpoints inside your WordPress website that will be used to communicate with external or internal tools. So, again, go here to code snippets, add a snippet. I want to explain this practically in an example so you can get the idea easily click on custom code and let's call this for example API endpoints and I will start with the following endpoint select PHP and let me show you this don't worry about PHP I'm not a PHP programmer by the way I prepared this for you as, a, as I told you before so don't worry about it you can just copy and paste and test here you have two functions, one to check user balance and one to validate user API key. So this one, as the name shows, it will check if this API key is correct in the website for this specific user. And this will check the user balance. If they have enough credits, enough points to use your tools and services. And this simple code snippet here will simply register a new custom API call inside your website let me show you this and test it to understand what i'm talking about so save the snippet now we have this check balance endpoint i will open for example application like postman to test the api calls 
and in the URL select enter this the website name wp-json custom v1 check balance and then in the body here select row and make sure to enter this JSON here user ID and the API key for the user you want to check and make sure to select here post let's test this send and you will see status fail and the message invalid user ID or API key so this combination failed to authenticate let's try the correct authentication so I will go here to users all users to get the right ID and API key click on edit and let's go down and get the API key I will copy it open postman again and paste the right API key now let's try it send and now authentication was valid but it says insufficient points balance why let me show you this if I go back to here to the script I created you will see the check user balance the first step is to validate the API if it is successful it will go and check for the user balance so if the balance is greater than the required points in my example it is 50 so if the user has more than 50 points it will be successful it will be valid if not it will reply with insufficient points balance for example, I will go here again to users. Let me show you this. Please focus. I know there's a lot of information here, but it's somehow simple. I will adjust and select here, for example, 500 points and add. So now this user, which is my user, has 500 points. If you go back here and test send, you will see sufficient points balance and my points balance is 500 successful response. So everything is perfect, the user authenticated, and we have the right points, the right user balance. So now, this is the first layer authentication, then we can pass to the application layer and execute the codes we want. Let me show you another example now. I will go again to my snippet, and I will add a new custom endpoint. But this now is like a simulation of calling a real application. Let me show you this. So this one simulate api call i will copy this and go to postman and now i will click on send look at this now look at the response you can see now api call successful and points were deducted now my new balance is 450 you see let's run it again what's happening here is i am simulating a real application so if it's authenticated we'll execute the application or the code and then return back the new user balance so you can update it in your user interface for example or tell the user how much points they still have you can see so this is another api call to simulate the process and by the way what you can do with this strategy is you can sell apis directly on wordpress so you can create the api inside the snippets and sell it with wordpress if you want to learn more about building and selling APIs and generating a new income stream online with APIs, you can check my full course on my website. Now let's go back to our main goal, which is connecting this credit system and this API key with an external application, for example, with a streamlit application. So to make things also simple for you, I prepared this prototype so you can test directly and play with. We have here the WordPress API URL. All you have to do here is enter your domain name. For example, in my case, it is demo, this one. I will copy it and paste it. And by the way, other tip, here I'm using an application called Local WP. It allows me to create WordPress websites locally for testing and so on. Anyway, so I pasted the WordPress URL and this is the API call, my custom endpoint. And now let's run the application. Streamlit run app.py, which is a script file name and enter. So here we are. Now we are in a Streamlit application, totally different application hosted somewhere else, but we are connecting it with WordPress with the user ID and the API key. So let's copy this. I will copy the API key, enter it here and paste the user ID and click on use tool. Here we are simply simulating that this is a tool we are using. Click on use tool 
and you can see API call successful and we got the new balance. Let's try another user ID. So now the authentication must fail. Let's test this use tool. It's running. Authentication failed. You see now how we connected a Streamlit app hosted somewhere else with our WordPress website with the API key and the credits system. Let me show you a practical example that I built and I sell online. For example, this tool, Intensive Topic Research, it's hosted under my own domain and I sell it for my power members. You can see here, they need to enter the API key and the user ID. From where they get this, again, remember on my website, in the My Account page, they copy the API key, the users, the power members, and they paste the API key here with the user ID, then they can use my intensive topic research tool. Maybe you are wondering why we do all this, where we can build maybe a SaaS with languages like Next.js, or maybe on WordPress directly and so on, simply because building applications with a Streamlit is super, super easy and simple, especially today with AI. You can build applications in like a couple of minutes. Maybe build the prototype of your SaaS with this technique or sell it as a real application with this technique or for your freelancing clients, for example, where you want to give them access based on authentication keys. If you want to see this in action and to see how I build AI applications easily, combining Streamlit with some scripts and AI, you can check out this video here. I build 10 AI tools in a couple of minutes. If you learned something new today, don't forget to smash the like button, all the codes, guides, details, in the description below. Get it and see you in the upcoming videos.